Former Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Duran Odeyemi, joins us in the course of this bulletin to discuss more about this development. But now let's tell you that the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission has raided and sealed another prominent supermarket in Abuja due to what it described as unpleasant practices by the management and staff. The acting executive vice chairman of the commission, Abdullah Adamo, spoke in Abuja. Tivasidu's Uloma Oyemachi reports. On a mission, the Consumer Protection Agency settles at their first port of call for you supermarkets in Wuse, Abuja. Swooping in for the second time this year, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission conducted a raid on the store. Their first interest at the supermarket was price transparency, and the commission acknowledged some level of transparency in their findings. Consumers must be informed about prices. However, a major discovery was made, and then a decision from the commission followed. Are you aware that this company is an existing company? We found out another thing that uh, really baffles us. Nobody knows that Stallion Group has been uh, comatose for a very long time. We know that there is no Kappa rice, yet we found Stallion and Kappa rice in this market. What's happening is that this, uh, some people bag their own local rice, pretending that it is the same Stallion or Kappa that people are used to. We don't even need to open anything, you can see. After the initial raid, the commission's team proceeded to another branch of the store nearby. They headed straight to the rice section and, as anticipated, found stallion rice removed from the counter. This prompted an inspection of the main storage area, where they discovered unsatisfactory conditions, leading to the evacuation of over 90 bags of rice. In response to the raid, the store manager expressed gratitude to the FCCPC for their dedication to the welfare of Nigerians and pledge to improve their operations. We keep our eyes on any product we are bringing into our supermarket to make sure that uh, we don't bring in products no longer in existence. Now the main event unfolds as the store is sealed due to obnoxious and unfair practices towards customers. Staff were instructed to leave immediately to allow the agency to complete its mission. From the discovery of expired products still being sold, to the failure to display prices directly on products, among other violations of the FCCPC Act, for you supermarket faces closure similar to Sahad stores unless the management addresses the allegations against them. Uloma Uyemachi, TVC News, Abuja.